Today is the day for some Merchie vlog. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit. Um, we're doing, we're doing some Merchie vlog. Oh God, look at the hair. It needs serious like damage control. So I have Christmas stuff in to read. I can't remember what else I decided to read. Satan, but I'm not, I don't think. I'm reading the Reindeer and Preg one. I'm gonna pick something else instead, but I'm gonna see how many I can get done in the next couple of hours before I go to sleep. Um, I will give you updates. This is all being done in one night, by the way, because I'm a last minute bitch, you know this. And then, um, still undecided whether or not these are gonna go on my good reads. <laughs> um, we'll see. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I have finished book one, so it was, I don't know how long it was, it was very short, <laughs> that's what she said. That's what she said! <laughs> um, so, I started with Santa, <laughs> I can't see it, I started with Santa is coming because Christmas stuffing wanted to charge me like three quid, so I was like nah, but at the end of Santa is coming, Christmas stuffing comes straight up on the thing because it's by the same author so I'm gonna see how far I get with that but basically Christmas stuffing was no Santa is coming was just a very short like novella type thing that was basically Dom who had paid for a sub from a BDSM agency and it turns out that when she got there she was blindfolded, blindfolded she had to follow instructions and wear certain things and she was blindfolded when she arrived and it was a like he took a blindfold off it turns out it was a boss that had been wanting her for ages and within like literal seconds after she once stormed off she then decided that she wasn't going to storm off she was just going to let him fuck her anyway so that was the thing and then yeah that was it really there was nothing else other than that. So I'm just gonna be on to the next one. And also, in case you didn't know, spoilers, spoiler, spoiler. Okay, so I've started Satan and I wondered how this was gonna go because I haven't read the synopses for any of these. And this one is 112 pages long, so it's a little bit longer than the fucking 20 page thing that I've just read. But it starts out with a girl who, a boyfriend cheated on her with her sister. So she, has a tradition of writing a letter to Santa, but she's dyslexic. We know where this is going, don't we? I'm sorry, I have to go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I don't know, we're on page 12 and <laughs> Some guys come down a chimney <laughs> and, he, and she said he says why you just wrote me a letter and <laughs> he said and laughed it was a low rumbling laughter so manly and testosterone <laughs> and testosterone rich it must have come straight from his balls Sorry, I had to compose myself. Because... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had to compose myself. Because the next line is... My very underused pussy. Give a unique twitch. Tighten it into a tingling knot of hope and longing. <laughs> Why? Why is this printed? We're back, we're back, we're two pages later. And he says, he calls her Blossom. But he said again, with a manly chuckle, this zinged straight down to my pussy. <laughs> Seriously? If people regularly read this shit and didn't actually speak to a human live woman, they would think that the slightest manly gruff voice 
or like pet name from a random dude that fell down your chimney would make your genitalia clench and suddenly get wet over the slightest little thing. Like, why? <laughs> I mean, I know it's smut, but come on. A fucking stranger just falling down your chimney. Oh my god, we're two pages, two pages further in and she's cooing at him because he's adorable apparently. Because he's got a tail with a white tuft of fluff. <laughs> because he's got a tail with a tuft of white fluff at the end, like white fur at the end. I mean, it's a monster romance. That's just, it's not even really a romance, it's just, and apparently, before she's even seen him, he's awoken her faded libido. <laughs> I'm going to keep giving you a winning commentary of everything that I say, I, I see even, and she's just, where is it? Yeah, she's just said, I couldn't believe it. He was Satan, the devil, straight from hell, and he smelled like gingerbread. <laughs> okay, so, um, we're now, we're now, what are we? What are we? What are we? 61% in, and they've been together like a night. And she's already like, there's feelings here. I want to give myself to him. And, oh God, it's so bad, but it's just, I can't stop reading. <clears throat> and at one point, in the middle of them, <laughs> he, <laughs> they, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. This book, Santa is real. And they went to see Santa because she thought she was writing Santa. And Satan wanted to prove that Santa wasn't a good guy. And there's something to do with her sister. Apparently, she gets everything she ever wanted. And everyone believes her when she lies. And she'd written to Santa telling her, telling him how she'd been a good girl and how her sister had been really mean to her. And was, whatever was really nasty to her. So then Santa automatically believed that Daisy, who was the main character in this, was, a, was on the night list automatically because children don't lie to Santa. That was his reasoning. And then he was really nasty to her. So then Satan was like, I pro I'm proven right. Like, Santa's not a nice guy. And then to get him back from being so nasty to her, they decided to have sex in Santa's room. And then Santa caught them. And then Satan, like, like shadowed them away. And flew with without getting dressed or anything just so like shifted it like don't know how what's the word like it's like winnowing in Akata I think that's how it sounded anyway and then they were flying whilst they were still inside her and they started fucking in the air and then although it says they were still flying they landed on some kind of platform and then they continued until they finished. I'm confused. And then all of a sudden she was just like, Satan can't love, Satan, Satan is evil. I don't think I want to fall in love with him, so I'm going to tell him that I want to go home and that he needs to go. I mean, I mean, it's not a contemporary romance, girl. We don't need a third act blip. Do you know what I mean? It's supposed to be smart. I don't know why he tried so hard to make it contemporary, like, plot lines. But, it is what it is. It's, it's... If we're just going purely based on smut, which we really should do with these, we shouldn't think about plot. The vibes, even the vibes are off though. Like, his tail was tickling her at one point. In the, oh, I don't know. Why did I put myself through this? Oh my god. I don't know what I've done. Why have I done this to myself? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to think. <laughs> so, um, 
I'm lost. I'm, I have no words. She fell in love with Satan, basically. Um, in the space of a night. And he fell in love with her. And he was possessive. And he was like, love can't always be good. I'm possessive and jealous and... You know, that's love, I love you. And then she was like, oh, I love you too. And then there was an epilogue where food was involved and he'd um, come all over her tree because he wanted to mark everything in her. He wanted to mark all of her and mark everything in her life. So apparently the come on the tree was sparkling and pretty. And then he shot cookies out of his cock. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Right, okay, so, 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 we, 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 we haven't. I have read, I've read, no, I've all read. What did I read before this? I read Satan. I've read Santa is Coming, but I wanted to read like three novella type things rather than just a short story. Um, and a novella, so I'm gonna have a scroll through Kindle and see what else is there that's not gonna charge me for it. I wanna see what's un unlimited and I will get back to you. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I found one. It was called Tied Up for Christmas, but I didn't check to see how many pages it was, and it was like 42. So that was over quickly. <laughs> that's what she said. So, trying to find. A slightly longer one but this will be the last one of the vlog but I want to make it a funny one because now I've had two really short ones that have just been like there and then one well, that made me laugh out loud so I need another one that just similar shitty cheesy vibes to Satan <laughs> never thought that sentence would come out of my mouth <laughs> do you know what we're gonna go for another Layla Fair one and it's gonna be Mr Jingle do you want to see the cover can you see the cover? So, this is a cover. So, let's see what Mr. Jingle has to offer us. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so we're on um, page one and we've already got stock of abs. He's watching this girl crying, but saying like, she doesn't normally cry like this. She normally just like, sobs a little tear. Um, and it's like, I, he would, he would, bring the world to its knees kind of thing because there's so many horrible people in the world um, but for her she is the sole reason he's not destroyed the world give me stock of vibes yes wow wow um, we're on page whatever like 3% in like the next couple of pages on our next page even and he just said that he wants to hurt her mother because she talks to her with a cold tone um, of impatience, and sort of impatience, and um, he put, I want to cut off her tongue and make her chalk at it forever for saying this to her daughter. Um, this guy's teensy bit scary, and also when he reached through the cage that he was in, um, crimson tentacles dissolved in a red smoke, so he's got tentacles, but it also mentions that he might. Be getting a body soon. Um, he's never had a body before, but um, through some miracle that we're probably going to find out, he somehow has a body almost ready for him to inhabit, so that he can help this girl and like bring the world to its knees for her. Yes. <laughs> Just remember, I'm going to name this. I'm reading this, so you don't have to. You're welcome. Thanks, Meg, for the idea. Okay, so we've just found out that the cage he's in is in her mirror. Another dimension or something, clearly. And last time he tried to move too quickly, he scared her. So he tried to move without his full form before, and it scared her. So this is fun. This is so much fun. Can you see the fun I'm having? Okay, so he's broken out of this mirror cage thing. And I say broken out, he got a heart, it thumped, the mirror shattered and he's now lying naked on the floor. It switches to her perspective. She did a drawing of his anatomy. So she's an artist. 
and she, she drew some male genitalia. He, he says he doesn't need to be made, he doesn't need to be human. It's exactly how she drew it or something. And then that's one of the things she notices when he rolls over n naked on the floor and it makes her hot. She thinks there is a burglar in her house and the first thing she looks at well, one of the first things she looks at and in that moment she is like feeling hot and bothered. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on with my hair but literally the next page she put less looking at cocks more looking for weapons. Bitch, she thinks a burglar is in her house and she's staring at his penis. No. No, bitch. This would not happen. Fuck off. I was going to carry on tonight, but I'm so tired. I'll come back to you in the morning to finish this off. Hi, guys. Um, I'm just going to jump in and give you my thoughts on Jingle, or Mr. Jingle. Um, I'm just about halfway through. I need to finish it in the next, like, half an hour or so, so I can get this uploaded before I go to my parents' house. But... It's another one. Like, basically, she's just drawn this character. Like, she's an artist, and his parts of his body are, uh, like, a character called Ega that she draw, but, drew, but it's not him. She hasn't drawn him a face, hence the weird mask thing that we've seen on the cover. Um, and it's just an immediate, you know, she wants him, and literally with zero, zero, um, encouragement required really she was just like yeah I'll let you fuck me it's okay <laughs> I need to remember that I didn't pick these for the plot I didn't pick these for the plot I did not pick these for the plot but the writing is not good <laughs> hi just a quick um update um we're trying to do this thing where there's this subplot going on where she's being bullied and she's she's being bullied because she's she's an artist um but she the art that she does is an explicit like monster art so what he is is she doesn't just do it for fun she draws explicit art as a job and it sounds like some sort of comic thing um or something that she posts pictures of Oh, I don't know if it's actually a story. It just says explicit art, but it sounds a bit comic -y. Anyway, so the side the side plot, I'm going to say a side plot because the main plot is that it's Mr. Jingle and Daisy. Not Daisy. What is her name? What is her name? I've just seen it, Kelly. Um, and she's supposed to be this sort of like warrior for justice because she's being bullied online for the content that she draws. It just doesn't, doesn't work. It's like he's too serious. Why is it in these types of things they've got an overly massive cock that they somehow can make room for? <laughs> Women have a set bodies, um, as far as I'm aware, and if something doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. You can't make room. <laughs> what is this bit? I don't know what this bit is in my hair, but you can't you can't make room. It just doesn't work. This online bullying thing is not a problem now because he, in his infinite wisdom, because all he, all he wants, to, all he likes to destroy. So he's a demon, but he loves her, um, is possessive over her, but he wants to destroy anything that remotely hurts her. So the people that were, like, abusing her online, anything that they said that they would do to her, he's used his, like, magic tentacle arm things to go into a computer, find out who these people are, and basically make them have the nightmares that they said they were going to make her have and he's just told her at the Christmas market and she was like enraged for all the five seconds and then she was like well if you only gave them the nightmares that they said they would give me it's okay but we need to talk about this you can't just be violent okay all right we just got through another bit apparently he can make his cold taste like whatever she wants like her favourite tasting food or whatever. 
it's mm, mm. Oh, not only that, it has healing properties. And he's like, please suck my cock, Kelly. You have anemia. No, no, you're close to anemia. Sorry. So his cum can give her back the nutrients she needs so that she doesn't have anemia. The kids worse. Tastes like eggnog. Okay, I have now finished Mr. Jingle. And I want to give you a zero. But I can't. So I'll give you a one. Um, this Layla Fay likes to have um, food related items or tastes um, to come from Mel's penis. So she made Mr. Jingles come taste like eggnog. She made Satan's shootout cookies. And at the end of this one, um, Satan and Daisy meet Mr. Jingle and Kelly and Satan drinks the eggnog and after making friends because the prison that Mr. Jingle was in was he was put there by Satan so Satan drinks the eggnog and Mr. Jingle eats the cookie. Um, I hope you enjoyed me putting myself through this. I thought it was going to be fun, smart, and it turned out to be a traumatic experience for my brain. But it was fun. Um, this will be a short vlog than our vlogs because I don't think I can put myself through any more of this type of smut. I'm going to go find some good smut to read. So, I hope you've enjoyed your Christmas. Hope you've had a great Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and have a great New Year. Sorry, my battery died. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great New Year, Christmas, seasonal period, and hope you enjoy this vlog. I read these so you don't have to. You're welcome. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Google follow the links down below um, for any book recommendations. Preferably if it's smut, decent smut, because I bet you don't need to be traumatised like this anymore. Okay? Okay. I'm dabbing out. Bye. Cold enough to make you shiver, but not cold enough to snow.